to today's tutorial so today we're going to be looking at functions and to be specific we'll be discussing composite functions okay so um we have this question on the screen it says f of x is equal to 5x and g of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and they're asking us to find f of 3 uh, g of 2 f of g of 2 g of g of 3 and f of f of 3 all right so um if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so by clicking the button there which says subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines all right so let's begin to solve the question all right so to find f over uh, 3 we simply just replace 3 in f while there's x in f we replace with 3 so to find f of 3 simply just say um, simply just say 5 and then while there's x there we put 3 so this will give us 15 then to find g of 2 we also just put uh, 2 while there's x in g so we're going to have 2 there to the power 2 and then plus 3 so this will give us 4 plus 3 2 squared is 4 then 3 is this one there when you add the 2 you get a 7 so now we move on to composite functions where we are uh, where we're going to be requested to combine two functions f and g okay so if you see any expression in this format let's say f of g of x this one is just the same as f of then you open the square brackets and then you write your g of x there so what this means is that in x i mean in f in f while there's x we're going to be putting g of x so f f is this one while there's x we're going to put g of x so to simplify things we can just write it as uh, so we're saying f of g of x is now going to be equal to 5 and then while there's x in f we're going to put g of x so what is our g of x g of x is x squared plus 3 so this is what we're going to put there so we're going to have 5 in open brackets we're going to have x squared plus 3 so 5 times x squared we get 5 x squared then plus uh, 5 times 3 this will give us 15 now we've not been told to find f of g of x the question is asking us to find f of g of 2 so why there is x in this f of g of uh, x we're going to put um, 2 so we say f of g of 2 this will now uh, be equal to 5 while there is x i'm putting 2 there's a 2 squared and then plus 15 so we are going to have 5 times this 2 squared will be 4 then we have plus 15 then the answer is just going to be 5 times 4 this will give us a 20 20 plus 15 this will give us 35 so the same way i've done this one is the same way we're going to do this one and that one okay so we have g of g of 3 so g of g of 3 first of all we have to find g of g of x so how do you find g of g of x so in g where there's x we're going to put g of x so in g where there's x we're going to put g of x so where there's x there we're going to put um, g of x so we have something like this where there's x we put g of x so we're going to have g of x g of x squared and then plus 3 this 3 there so th what is g of x g of x is x squared plus 3 so this is what we're going to put there so we have x squared plus 3 then it says squared then uh, plus 3 this 3 so after finding that the next step we're going to take is to simplify this expression here but seeing that we've been asked to find um we've been asked to find g of g of 3 we may not even need to simplify it we we'll just replace what is x here we're going to put 3 
so g of g of 3 this will give us um, 3 squared 3 squared plus 3 there then we put them in the square brackets and then we say squared then we add a 3 there plus 3 so this is what we're going to have. We have 3 squared this will give us 9 then we have plus 3 then we say squared plus 3 so 9 plus 3 this will give us a 12 squared plus 3 then this will give us 144 plus 3 this will give us 147 so this is what you are supposed to do this is what you are supposed to do in order to find uh, g of g of 3 let's also find f of f of 3 okay so f of f of 3 is also simple so first of all before we find f of f of 3 we first have to find f of f of x so this one is just the same as in f where there is x i'm going to put f of x so in f where there is x i'm going to put f of x meaning uh, in this f where there is x i'm going to put f of x so i'm going to put my f of x there so we have 5 then open brackets what is f of x f of x is 5x So this is just the same as 25x when you multiply 5 times 5. So now to find f of f of 3, this one is just going to give us, um, where, where there is x in this expression, we're going to put 3. So we have 25 times 3. And then this gives us, uh, this gives us uh, 75. Alright, so this is how you solve uh, compo questions involving composite functions. Alright, so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, if you have any questions, feel free to send them over to these uh, questions on the screen. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.